pi over 3. Everybody got this one down? my pi over 3. Now, the last time we did this, what we were interested in was dropping, so here's our point x, y. What we did last time was we dropped a vertical line down, made it perpendicular to the x-axis. But unfortunately, we know absolutely nothing about that vertical line. Because we don't have those special triangles for those of you who memorize special triangles. Geometry-wise, we don't know diddly squat. Yeah, but we don't know anything about 60-30 triangles. Because we, based on geometry, we don't have triangles here. We've got just what we have is the sides, some sides, etc. So, how long is this black line here? One. How long is this black line down here? No, the whole black line. One. Now, I have a triangle that has two sides. I don't have a triangle yet, but I can make one. I have a triangle. I'm going to make a triangle where these two sides are the same. So I'm going to make an isosceles triangle in this process by connecting this dot to that one. So, of course, that's not going to work this way. <laughs> so I've made an isosceles triangle, yes? And that means that this angle and this angle are the same. Is everybody okay with that? How can we do that? Why? What are those <coughs> measures? Yeah, this angle was 60 degrees. These two have to add up to the rest of the 180, and we know they are the same. So that means they must also both be 60. So what kind of triangle do I actually have here? Is it the degree? Is yes. It, is it the degrees between the red and the green line, or the no. green and the black? Green and the black. I have an equilateral triangle. What can you tell me about equilateral triangles? Well, all the sides are equal. That's one thing you can tell me. Okay. All the angles are equal. That's another thing you can tell me. How many of you remember from your geometry class? You guys did have geometry once, didn't you? I never took it. Some some people I know avoid it like the plague. In geometry class, one time we taught you that if you have an equilateral triangle and you drop an altitude from one vertex of your equilateral triangle to the opposite side, what does it do to the other side? It cuts it in half. So then, if I know that this is half of the whole side, then how long is this? One half. So that means I know what about my x coordinate? It's one half. But I don't have my y coordinate yet. But I can work on that, right? How long is this? Well, we know. What is that? How long is that in terms of my. No, you don't need a number yet. How long is that in terms of my point? It's my y. So I can calculate it, yes? Because I have a nice right triangle. One side is a half. The hypotenuse is one. And then I have y. So I have one half squared plus y squared equals one. One half squared is? One fourth. Plus y squared equals 1. Now what? Subtract 
subtract 1 fourth, so I have y squared equals 3 fourths. And finally, well not quite finally, but next, take the square root, so I get y equals plus or minus plus or minus square root of 3, and the square root of 4 is 2, so I'll just make it square root of 3 over 2. Which one is it and why? Length is positive. So y is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. We're going to just leave it as square root of 3 fourths. Yes, you can leave it as square root of 3 fourths if you want to. Then. So, what then is the cosine of pi over 3? with respect to the x-axis and with respect to the y-axis in the circular. Does it have other symmetries that we might not have talked about? Other lines of symmetry? Mm -hmm. Which ones? Are there any that might be handy to help us deal with pi over 6? So now what are we going to do? Well, now we're 